While the rice is a part of the Ojibwe culture, it is a gift from the spirits and a sacred food. Clean water is also important to the Ojibwe and needed for both the wild rice and animals to thrive. What creatures depend on wild rice? Well, have very, very many different species depend on wild rice. It's a, it's a pretty amazing plant that way, that uh, wild rice environments tend to attract everything from insects to things as large as deer and moose to come and feed on them. Uh, they're important, especially important to ducks, and they're sort of famous as a food for waterfowl species and geese and swans. They're very important to muskrats and to some other fur bearers. Uh, they're Root systems provide good habitat for young fish, uh, and there's um, predator species that will come and feed on all of these other species that are attracted to rice. So wild rice habitat tends to be really alive with wildlife, uh, many, many different species, and biologically they're just really uh, diverse and abundant in the different number of species that they support. This area is so beautiful. Uh, people come to see this and they fall in love immediately with, with our area. Uh, the waters, the, the air here is so clear and clean. And a lot of us share in some of the larger communities than just the reservation and just the village that I live in, um, a real love of this, of this territory, a love of the lifestyle here. I guess for me, reasonable, quiet, uh, but loving way of, of what surrounds me. The pollution caused by the mine that is being created could affect the creatures around it, putting their lives at risk. The contamination caused by the mine could also reach different bodies of water around it. This mine is uh, to be uh, located uh, on the Pinocchio Range near the uh, town of uh, Mellon, Wisconsin. And the proposed mine would be uh, located at the very headwaters of the Bad River uh, watershed. And there are many uh, pristine uh, streams that uh, run into the uh, Bad River. And I'm afraid this uh, mining operation uh, would uh, threaten the uh, environmental integrity of that entire uh, uh, watershed. Thank you. And uh, would uh, would uh, disrupt uh, those uh, various ecosystems in the watershed. We're uh, concerned uh, primarily about uh, water quality, about air quality, and its effects that it would have on uh, our uh, wild rice here on the reservation, and uh, it's a threat uh, to our identity as a people in uh, many uh, different ways. What happens if the contamination reaches the Great Lakes? It, if it did reach out to the Great Lakes, it could negatively impact the aquatic resources, so the fisheries, it could negatively impact some of the plants that are out there. Um, also, it could have effects on some water chemistry too. Um, I think it is possible. We've been seeing within the Great Lakes region there is other mining operations and um, people are concerned if it is going to reach the Great Lakes. I believe that the possibilities of pollution in our Bad River watershed is impossible to calculate and if it really happens impossible to fix. It would take probably something like a hundred thousand years for everything to fix itself again if that were to happen and I just I just don't see that as, as a good way to operate <laughs>